Good morning. Welcome to King Worldwide. Hello, my, everybody. My name is Lisa. This is my dad, Roy. We already have the victory, regardless of circumstances, regardless of the country, regardless of the world. We already have the victory in Jesus Christ. Hello. And so we're going to go over another outline that Roy developed with the Holy Spirit so that we can continue to enforce victory. And sometimes it feels like a fight. Whatever you want to call it, fight the good fight of faith. Stand, enforce victory. Do what the Holy Spirit says. Yeah, we have, we already have it, and we're, we're going to explain what we have. But uh, let's be real in that we have challenges and storms at life that, that can be nerve-wracking and even at times what I call showstoppers. Mm. But our message today is just that. We, we already have the solution. Oftentimes we are ignorant of what God has already provided for us. So we're going to look at uh, one, two, three, four. We're going to look at four scriptures that tell us as to what solutions we already have. All right. Go, Lisa. The first three are from the Passion Translation, and then the fourth one is going to be from NLT. So let's start with Philippians 2, 9, and 10 from the Passion. Okay. Because of that obedience, God exalted him and multiplied his greatness. He has now been given the greatest of all names. The authority of the name of Jesus causes every knee to bow in reverence. Everything and everyone will one day submit to this name in the heavenly realm, in the earthly realm, and in the demonic realm. The, the greatest of all names, and that's mm -hmm. where the power mm -hmm. is. Number two. You did that for me. You get more time. 1 John 4. No, I didn't. Oh. Greater, okay, it was, it was I almost said accurate. it. Yeah. Greater is he is in me. But anyway, we're going to read from the Passion. Little children. So remember, we get as little children. You can be certain that you belong to God and have conquered them. For the one who is living in you is far greater than the one who is in the world. Far greater, and that is the Spirit of Jesus, the Spirit of God, mm -hmm. far greater than anything in the world. So the name and the Spirit is living within us, which is far greater than any challenge, storm, junk that we encounter. Number three. Okay, Romans 8, 37. Yet even in the midst of all these things that you just mentioned, we triumph over them all. For God has made us to be more than conquerors and has demonstrated and has demonstrated his love that his love is glorious, our glorious victory over everything. More than conquerors. Glory to God. And then, so, lastly. Na name and the spirit of Jesus resides in us name, once we were born again. Holy spirit. And then number three, more than conquerors. More than conquerors. And then number four. Hosea, number four. Hosea 4, 6 from the NLT. My people are being destroyed because they don't know me. Since you priests refuse to know me, God says, I refuse to recognize you as holy priests. Since you have forgotten the laws of your God, I will forget to bless your children. Okay, no, knowing him, knowledge of God, which is very simply the Bible. Yep. So in, in the Bible, mm -hmm. it, what it is is that it's what's God saying, well, what's God saying to them back then, he's saying to us. And God's word is God speaking yes. to you and us. He's, his word is speaking to you uh, and, and us. And, and to Peter it says that no prophecy of the scripture is of any private interpretation. So therefore, since God never changes, which is Malachi 3, is that since no, no prophecy is just to one person, it's anybody who believes and receives, receives it, it, then therefore... What God said then, we have now. Amen. Now, I had, how, th how this came to my mind is that a uh, long time ago, I had an example as far as uh, my wallet, is that I, for a long time, is that uh, I've had a dollar bill. As a matter of fact, uh, when, I, when I finally got mm -hmm. to this point, it was a $100 bill that I put in my wallet. And so I was looking for something and, uh, and couldn't find the, uh, as a matter of fact, I needed the dollar bill, the reserve, the emergency reserve, <laughs> and uh, the, and I, I didn't find it. And, and so later on, hmm. what I did is that I dumped everything out of my wallet, and all of a sudden, bloop, 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 it just kind of falls out. Now, Where was it? Here, here's the significance of that. 
I was ignorant of where it was. Where you put it or where uh, it was. Where it was or really what I had. And that, Ooh, it's and, so and, good. And that's oftentimes the same thing that we have as far as God's Word. We may know the truth. It's really good. We, we may know the truth. But unless we act on it when we're prompted to do it, unless we act on it, we will be dominated by the devil and his, and his uh, uh, unclean spirits. And that was the thing that I had so to true. learn is that as I was learning the word, I thought that was cool, but I just didn't act on it as strongly and frequently as I should have. Uh, matter of fact, I didn't inquire, to be very honest. Ding, it, ding, ding, ding. And, and so... As a result, it's it's knowing the word. That's why Hosea four six is so good for me. Is that my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge? That's the King James version, and and so once I learned it, and then once I started acting on it, guess what? I started getting results, and and that was the bottom line for me anywhere coming anyway coming from my background, and quite honestly, when we don't act, we are being disobedient to God's word. If we don't act when we inquired and he, he's directed us as far as what to do, let's say cast out demonic spirits. If we don't act, we're being disobedient to God's Yeah, word. we could be saying like, oh, I don't want to. What are they going to say or whatever? Something the Lord taught me in 2012 was that he would rather me step out in faith and miss it and let him fix it than me not being obedient. So when, he, when I hear his voice... I act, and I heard that in the very beginning. And if I'm, I'm not, I don't care. He can fix it. But most people sit back and wait, wait, wait. You're never going to get a green light. You're never going to get a natural sign. You, we have to obey God. And that He taught me just act. And if you miss it, and not one time when I heard His voice clearly and acted, I, He's ever had to say that was wrong. It's it. Satan bombards the mind, bombards the flesh, bombards with saying you're stupid. That's not going to help. Well. You just learn his voice, block contamination, and it, it works out. Here, here's something that just happened about a week ago, and I didn't think of until right now. And, and that is, is that I was over at the clubhouse beside our home, and, uh, and, and I was praying. I was doing, doing some prayers for some special people. And, uh, Thank you. I appreciate that. That's right. <laughs> You're one of them. And, and so as, as a result, the, the Holy Spirit told me, said, I want you tonight uh, because Sally and I, before, before we go to bed, we always listen to either uh, a message or a video on YouTube or a DVD that we have. We do it every night before the we go to bed. The preaching of the gospel. No question. And so he said when I was walking over, he said, I want you to uh, uh, to listen to one of Jesse DePlanis, uh his DVDs tonight. And I did. Walked in the house. Now, Sally, Sally was watching. She was watching a video. And it happened to be of Jesse as I walked in there. I didn't know any of this. And just as I walked in, I mean, it was as if the cue was given just like that. Jesse was prophesied, prophesying over us, oh, Roy that's and so Sally, cool. Sally King, in a meeting that we went to a couple years ago. That is so cool. And you talking about a confirmation, I said, I got this one. <laughs> That's really good. And so good. We, listened, we listened to another DVD of, of his that night. Glory to God. So he, here's why that if we don't act, here's why we're disobedient to God. There are three verses that Lisa's going to go mm, over. These are so good. And here is the first one. Again, from the Passion Translation, Psalm 8, 6. You've got a hot to trot on this Passion today, aren't you? The Lord said Passion, okay. and then Hosea was an interesting. I'm glad you're listening. Praise God. Me too. You have delegated to them mastery. So God has delegated to his people mastery over all you have made, making everything subservient to their authority, placing earth itself under the feet of your image bearers. All right, so the another translation of that is that we have dominion. Exactly what it's saying. We have dominion, and that's what that ties into the title. We already have it. Number two. Hebrews 2.8 for you have placed everything under his authority, mankind. I'm looking if there's anything here. Any. Okay, this means that God has left nothing outside the control of his son, Jesus, even if presently we have yet to see the body of Christ accomplishing this. So his intention is that mankind rules the planet. His intent, God's yep. intention, 
is that we are to rule the planet. Mm -hmm. So if there's junk that's taken place, not in necessarily your life, but throughout society. Your city, your town, your state, your it's country. Be, it's because is that it's a result of people that are not following God's word, period. Number three. Um, Psalm 115, mm -hmm. 16. The heavens belong to our God. They are his alone. And he has given us the earth and put us in charge. I mean, it's so clear. Put us in charge. We have ownership of the earth. Not doing it ourselves. No. <laughs> we have ownership. We have the authority and power. And when we inquire and we're directed to, to take action, for example, like cast out the uh, demonic spirits or whatever. Pray for it, the state. That it, used to be a wrong. Yeah. <laughs> and so as, as a result, we do that. And the reason why that it works is because we've been given the authority, power, and ownership of this entire earth. So yes. when challenges surface, we need to open our mouth and dominate with our mouth and our words what's trying to dominate us. If all we now hold on to your seat on this one, if all we do is pray, and certainly there's a time for uh, to pray, we will never dominate. And here's the reason why. Naturally, it's a time to pray and obviously a time to act, which we talked about earlier, because we're enforcing the authority and power that God has given us in the mighty name of Jesus. Yes. So we have, and, and it, it goes all to the title here. We already have it. We've got dominion, God's intention for us to rule the planet. We've got the arsenal as far as power and authority to do what we need to do in order to be victorious per God's uh, direction. Yes. And so consequently, when we do these two things, and that is to we read, we pray, and, and, and we act and after inquiring and consistently continue depositing God's word in our mind and heart, we will reign we will reign in life and come to the realization that we can live here on earth. We're supposed to be. As yes. it is in heaven. Now, is it going to be a walk in the park? Absolutely not. At it first, is, it's not. But then it becomes an adventure. But It's the, still tough. Yeah, but yeah, that's the point I want to make, is that it's still, the challenges are still going to come. Yeah, Why? but it's, anybody who's a winner... Just bring it on. Like, you know, oh, if you're right. sitting on the bench, put me in. No so you, it's it's an adventure. And when you're armed up, it's great. You want to participate. And God wants you to. And but, it's really fun. But it's, it's going to keep coming because Satan's the God of this world. And so, therefore, he's got an agenda. What is it? To steal, kill, and destroy. And if a person has, a person has a little uh, sniffle or if a person has a little ache in their leg or whatnot, he's not trying to slow you down. He's trying to kill you. Yeah, and, and he'll do and it by stealing the word and, and letting the distractions be and, too much. And that's why that we have to exercise our authority and power and, uh, and send his saddle home. And we do that every morning, one of our prayers, after we pray for the president, Ephesians 2, 6, that ties along with this. Take yep. authority over our city, state, town, etc. Okay. Have a great day. Love y'all. Bye.